Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so hater, lover, Kim Kardashian is definitely doing her thing. So if you guys do not know, not only does Kim Kardashian want to be a lawyer, she is prepping to take the bar, but she has been working hard over the past 90 days to free inmates who have been handed lengthy prison sentences for low-level drug offenses, okay? So Kim Kardashian has literally freed 17 inmates in 90 days. And a lot of people are really proud of her, as am I. Some people are saying, oh, she's doing this for attention. She just, you know, wants to go viral. But I think it's deeper than that. And personally, if somebody has been sitting in prison for 20 years over some fucking weed, I don't care if it's for attention. Let them out, okay? Let them out. It's, it's such bullshit that people were criminalized for something as simple as marijuana, which is now legal in many states, and people are becoming millionaires off of the marijuana crop that these same, you know, minority men have been locked up behind for over a decade. So kudos to Kim for, you know, basically using her celebrity to do something right besides, you know, fuck on tape and shit, you feel me? So kudos to her. Kudos to you, bitch. You know, this all began when she first was petitioning Donald Trump over a year ago to release Tennessee grandmother um, Alice Marie Johnson. And after she went to go meet with Trump and she petitioned Trump, Trump ended up releasing her in June of last year. That confirmation of the commutation of a sentence, and this goes back to Kim Kardashian. That's right. This is the commutation of the sentence for Alice Johnson. This is according to one of her attorneys as well as a White House official who confirms this. This was what Kim Kardashian was here lobbying for last week, what some referred to as the first Kim summit. Uh, Johnson was sentenced to life in prison for drug trafficking back in 1996. So Kardashian argued that the sentence really didn't fit the crime, that this is a great grandmother who deserves to be released. So very big news here today at the White House. Kim Kardashian tweeting, Andrea, best news ever. Uh, we'll watch our Twitter accounts to see if she has any more to say as she learns more about this commutation. Now, of course, uh, this does come as we have been reporting throughout the day that President Trump uh, is considering dozens of other pardons, including, according to the president himself, potentially commuting the sentence of Rod Blagojevich, as well as pardoning Martha Stewart. Will that happen? We'll have to wait and see. Some critics look at some of these pardons in question if there is a political bent, a political purpose to them. That's a narrative that the White House has pushed back against very vigorously. Uh, but of course, the questions, is President Trump with some of these pardons trying to send a message to some of those who are wrapped up in the Russia probe, like his pardon of Dinesh D'Souza, conservative commentator, for example. That was, of course, a highly controversial pardon. This pardon, Andrea, will likely be less controversial. Again, this is a great grandmother who back in the 1990s was sentenced to life in prison for drug trafficking. So Kim Kardashian, as well as her family, undoubtedly cheering this news that we're getting from the White House this afternoon, Andrea. Because uh, there are a lot of others, thousands and thousands of others who are less entitled, less well represented, who are mm. incarcerated, um, mostly minorities, mostly men, who are incarcerated on these kinds of drug offenses. And I heard through friends the story of Alice Johnson. I was deeply moved. In 1997, Alice was sentenced to life in prison as a first-time nonviolent drug offender. Over the next 22 years, she became a prison minister, inspiring others to choose a better path she had a big impact on that prison population and far beyond. Alice's story underscores the disparities and unfairness that can exist in criminal sentencing and the need to remedy this total injustice. She served almost that 22 years and had expected to be in prison for the remainder of her Kim life. Kim Kardashian West reunites with pardon inmate Alice Johnson. Kim posts this selfie video of her and Alice on her Instagram story. Wow. Guess who I'm here with today, guys? Alice. 
The two make a joint appearance at Google's headquarters to speak out about mass incarceration reform. Alice was sentenced to life in prison on drug conspiracy and money charges until Kim met with President Donald Trump to discuss the matter at the White House. Months after that meeting, Alice was released from prison. So I'd like to say, Kim, I love you, thank you. You have literally saved my life. And I'll never forget what you have done, not only for me, but for my family. Thank you. Kim met the freed inmate for the first time on the Today Show, with Kim telling Hoda Kotb, it became this mission and I just didn't want to give up. So since then, this has kind of been a thing for Kim, where she's been fighting on behalf of many inmates around the country. And trust and believe, you know, regardless of the situation, if your ass was in jail for 10, 15 years and looking at 10 more years, you'd want Kim Kardashian behind you too, regardless if she's doing it for social media likes or a pat on the back. You know, she can get these people out of prison for these low-level offenses, huh? Honey, I'm here for it, bitch, okay? I'm here for it all damn day. So what's being reported is that Kim Kardashian has been working with the Buried Alive Project. Um, the attorney that runs that project is Brittany K. Barnett. And so they've been assisting Kim, you know, on the legal end of everything and going through the paperwork and, you know, helping Kim get all this figured out. So that way it's not just her using her celebrity. They are legally finding loopholes and just different things to get these people off. And so in the past 90 days, they have gotten seven. 17 inmates who have been in prison for 10 plus years out because of this program. So I say kudos to Kim. I hope she keeps up the great work. I see she's trying to be a lawyer. Some people are side-eyeing that, but I say, you know what, if that's what she wants to be, if she wants to do something more for humanity besides, you know, trying to sell makeup and, you know, uh, plastic surgery, I'm all here for it, okay? So kudos to Kim for doing what so many people talk about, but they don't damn do, okay? Faves are busy, you know, acting a fool on Ray Dayo Drive and throwing money and trying to, you know, front and floss for, you know, rich white people who already have it. Man, this nigga that went crazy on rolling Ray Dayo Drive. Man, this man that went crazy, man. Come on, man. For real. Come on, man. The police gonna come, man. For real. Oh, man. For real, nigga. Oh, man. This man. Oh, man. This man that went crazy. Oh, come on, Joe, man. Come on. You actually have a woman, you know what I'm saying, who's actually doing something for the black community, who's actually doing something for the hip hop community. Her actions and her actually getting people freed, to me, she's doing more than some big names in the hip hop industry. I mean, you just got to give her her props. You know, you can say you don't like Kim Kardashian. You can think whatever you want to about her and her family. But when she sets her mind to something, she gets that shit done. So to me, I can't do nothing but tip my hat to her. The fact that, you know, everybody else was sitting here trying to knock everyone who wanted to go talk to Donald Trump and to, you know, try and see what they could do. Kim was able to get in there and was able to change Donald Trump's mind and was able to get Miss Alice out of there. That just says a lot about who Kim is and the fact that, you know, she was willing to do something that was so selfless and to look out for another person. And it didn't stop with Alice. She's gone on now in the past 90 days to help 17 other people and 17 other families. So for that, she gets nothing but props from me. So thank you, Kim, for what you do. Good luck to you on your bar. I hope you end up being a lawyer and fighting a lot of cases and getting a lot of these people out of prison because like I said in my live streams I find it utterly re damn ridiculous that we still have people in prison right now till this day serving long lengthy sentences for no for nothing other than marijuana serving big sentences for marijuana and now that same drug that these same men were locked up for you had people in Colorado becoming millionaires behind this. You had people in L.A., wherever it's legalized, you know, basically able to start a whole new stream of income. And I'm not just talking about the dealers and the dispensaries, but I'm talking about the farmers, the, the people who press the oils, all of that. It's been able to start a whole new revenue and whole new businesses for people. So I do feel like there should be some drug reparations. You know what I mean? I feel like there should be some drug reparations for people who went to prison for 10, 15, 20 years behind something that's not legal in the majority of states and that will soon be legal all through America, okay? Trust and believe, bitch. They're gonna legalize that weed soon enough. <laughs> y'all just be patient. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Your thoughts on this entire thoughtful situation um, concerning Kim Kardashian really, you know what I'm saying, using her celebrity for what it's worth and really putting in work and getting people out of prison. Once again, kudos to her. So let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces.